Hey yeah, so in this short video we're going to go through how you can use the new Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer open source template that we've published for everyone to sort of clone and use. Uh, it offers some pre-built and set up plugins that are all basically from Unreal Engine. So you have pixel streaming plugin enabled, Unreal Engine gameplay ability system, the skeleton of that all set up and running. And you've also got the default world petition map, which offers you a two kilometer by two kilometer map to start building your amazing experiences. On top of that, when deploying the application to make live, because it's on our private network when they're actually running, the online subsystem implementation has already been done for you as well. We'll go into that in a minute once we jump into Unreal. So the first thing to do is clone the repository. So I'm just gonna get the URL by copying it. And then I'm basically gonna go into a directory that I wish to clone the repository. I'm basically going to do git clone and then I'm going to create a directory called make live tutorial. Give that a moment and it will just clone down the relevant files. Okay, so we now have the repository cloned. Let's just jump in to Unreal 5. So if I go to make live tutorial, you'll see there's two folders. One that's got source art, which is typically a structure that we like to use where this is the source assets before importing into Unreal Engine and then the project folder, which actually has the Unreal Engine project readily available. If we double click the project, it'll ask us to probably rebuild the plugins of which we just say yes. We give that a moment. Okay, it's rebuilt the plugins and now it's loading up the template project for us in Unreal 5. Once the project opens up, what we're going to do is we're going to be presented with the entry map. This literally spawns the relevant HUD that gives you an enter screen and then allows you to uh, create a new world, all using the online uh, subsystem. And uh, once you're in, you'll see just a basic world. And this is the two kilometer by two kilometer uh, default map using world partition. Uh, and what we can do quite simply is go to the content drawer go to core, then maps, and then default game open world. And you can basically just start populating this with all of your assets and all of your different uh, things that you'd like to create, um, ready for then deployment to make live, that you can then share with your friends and join in as a multiplayer game. So what we're gonna do now is just add some Quixel assets. So if we go to our uh, content drop down here and choose Quixel bridge, I've already got a couple of assets downloaded just to speed up the video slightly. So we're going to add these three assets here. Uh, we're in Unreal 5, so we should be using Nana. Why not? We can add that one. Add this boulder and then some rocky ground. Great stuff. The other thing I'm going to do is just on the mega scan assets, I'm going to generate some rough and ready collision. Um, just so that our character can collide with it uh, and any other players as well that join us. So I'm just going to open this up and quickly do that. Something like this will be fine. Hit apply. Have some rough and ready collision. So we'll save that. Give it a moment. And I'm just going to repeat that process for the other two assets that we added to our project. And the final one. Great stuff. So now we can just drag and drop a few of these into the scene. So I'm gonna to go to my content drawer and drag one of those in, drag one of those in, and drag one of those in. Oop, make this one quite big. Hold Alt, drag that out so we get a duplicate. Spin it around, try and get some variation. 
Same with the ground here. Let's just start moving these around slightly. Spin that around. Don't want to go too crazy, just for this example. And then we can make this one a little bit bigger. Duplicate. Rotate. Awesome. So if I just hit play now, I can just um, experiment and make sure everything's okay. The collisions won't be perfect, but they're, they're good enough to give us an idea of, uh, of what we're going for here. And that's it basically. So once that's done, uh, quite simply, to then get this deployed um, out into MakeLive, we follow the same process. Uh, the pixel streaming plugin is already enabled. So if we just go to File, um, sorry, Edit and Plugins, you'll see that pixel streaming is already enabled. Then we can go to Platforms, Linux, Package Project, create a new folder, Packages, let's rename that, sorry. and then select folder. We'll just let that build through. And then once that's done, we're ready to upload it to make live. Okay, that's built. Uh, just before we upload it to make live, the one thing I would like to mention um, as part of the template is in core, um, you have the relevant files for the template itself. and. If you go into blueprints and characters, you'll notice that uh, I mentioned previously the template comes with a uh, basic sort of skeleton setup of uh, the gameplay ability system. So when you're in the actual um, map itself, you can see interact is E. And if I press E, it'll start waving, uh, which is awesome. Um, and then the way that's done is through the gameplay ability system. You'll see there's a gameplay ability in the abilities folder uh, called wave. And it's not really a, a, a sort of, the, the gameplay ability system itself goes quite deep. Uh, so it's not really something we're going to go through in this video. Um, but those that may know it already uh, should obviously then have a familiar experience with being able to create uh, new abilities for the character and more complex behavior for, you know, leveling characters if you wanted to create some kind of game uh, mechanic itself. With that said, let's go to the project uh, that we packaged for Linux. Uh, as you can see, it's here. On the Linux folder, we're going to right click and compress to zip file. We're just going to let that run through. Okay, that's now zipped up. Uh, we'll leave the name as linux.zip. And then what we're going to do is go to app.make.live. So we're just going to log in now to the application. Uh, this account and then I'm going to create a new project we'll call this make live tutorial and we'll put on a 3080 we'll say that we can have a maximum of five individual clients connecting uh, we'll make it public hit the next step and then all we have to do is drag and drop our package folder and then upload it. Just gonna let that run through for a moment and then we'll jump back in once that's done. Okay, that's almost uploaded now. And once it's done, we'll be redirected to our launch URL that will be publicly available and then it will start deploying the application. Once it's built, doing this first run through, we actually do um, a cache um, and we cache it quite aggressively. So after this initial build, uh, which typically takes the longest, the first person to actually view it, it will roughly take maybe around about sort of one and a half minutes consistently um, to start up. And that goes without saying for you know, you can add as many assets as you want. The first initial startup time is the only one that takes a bit longer whilst it builds that cache. So we'll just let this run through.
Okay, it's now going to start up Unreal Engine. In the meantime, what else I'm going to do is I'm basically going to create a uh, new window and I'm going to join it with my other account. So I'm going to put these windows side by side. So we're going to join that session and we'll be presented with the enter screen. And I can click enter. I can create world. And we'll jump into the world that we created with those quick assets. As you can see, they're just loading in. Okay, with our second player on the right hand side, we're about to join the application. And we should be able to join our friend over here uh, in the same world. So we join the session, hit enter, find joinable worlds, we don't want to create our own. And there is our session here on the left hand side. And as soon as we click that we'll join and you'll see on the left hand side I've just popped into the actual session and everything load. And there we have it. We now have multiplayer all ready to go and we can wave on this side and we can wave on this side. And that's it. That's how easy it is to start creating your own massive worlds and also deploying them via pixel streaming uh, so that you can have more of a shared experience. The template itself is open source so we're hoping that the community can get behind it and perhaps contribute back to it but we'll be evolving it ourselves as time goes on. Thanks for watching.